What is going on, y'all? It's Jason. Got Tip right here. Got Mr. Top. And we got Biscuit over here at Cog Hill Farm. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Ain't that right, Big Tip? Yeah. Tip, we got to make a decision. We got to make a decision. It's time to make a decision around here. Hey, Biscuit. We have decided that the lovebirds over there, Fifi, Capri, and Joe, we kind of think that's kind of ran its course, and it's just time for the girls to come on back over here into the pasture where, she, where they belong. And if we do that, then that leaves us leaving Joe over there by herself. And as you guys know, goats are herding animals, as well as cows and donkeys. So they need a pasture mate. They need a buddy. And so we've just been trying to figure this out. And honestly, because of everything that's happening with Brooks Health and we had to stop working on the pastures and the cow pasture is not ready yet. Honestly, there's only one conclusion. You know what that, you know what that is guys, huh? You know what that is? Yeah, we think it's time to move Big Joe back. Joe has settled down a good bit. Hey, Jesse. They all get along. We know that Joe, Moody, and Mo all get along, so we won't have a situation where, you know, what happened when we moved Loretta over there and we found out that Loretta didn't think too kindly of Moody and Moody didn't think too kindly of uh, Loretta for whatever reasons. So we know that those three get along well, and we just think it's best if we move Joe back. Hmm, that sound like a plan to you? Yeah. Sounds like a plan to us. So that's what we're gonna try to accomplish today is to get Big Joe back over there with Moo Man and his best pal, Mo. All right, guys. I think that's what we're gonna do and hopefully it goes well. Moving Joe back is gonna be a, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh my gracious. Guess what guys? Your buddies Fifi and Capri are coming back. That's right, they're coming back. But you know what that means? We gotta move Joe back all the way over there. Also, Mary Carl has a just a regular general doctor's appointment and orthodontist appointment today. So Brooke has gone to take her to go to those. So. I'm kind of flying solo today on this job. And, <laughs> I mean, what's the worst gonna happen, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, guys, y'all wish me luck. All right, Big Top, wish me luck, buddy. Yeah, give me a fist bump, that's what I'm talking about. First things first, I think I'm gonna move the girls. Actually, first thing this morning, I was taking care of this half of the chores and Brooke came in and was taking care of the barn this morning. And she actually helped me out big time because she got Fifi and Capri separated from Joe already. So I don't even have to worry about that. All I gotta do is just get the girls over here. And I think what I'm gonna do to keep it halfway civil, let's just shut this door first. And then I'm gonna move them from point A, which is this area here, to point B, which is this area here, and then I'm gonna open the door. And you may be asking, Jason, why are you even moving the girls and doing all this moving? I can just tell. I can tell that the girls are ready to be moved back. Uh, I just know my animals, and I can tell that they're ready to be moved back. Uh, just their body language and just everything, the girls are ready to go back. Joe's not being ugly and there's nothing, you know, crazy going on over there. He's not being mean and he's calmed down a good bit, but the girls are ready to go back. Hey, Sylvester. We're fixing to move some goats, buddy. And I think it's gonna be just fine. At least these are. Hey, girls. Come on in, girls. Y'all, come on, look here. Look here, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, get you some feed. 
Come on, ladies. Come on. That a girl. That a girl. Nope, that ain't what I wanted. Come on. No, come on, let's eat. Come on. That's right. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, girls, let's go. That a girl. Good job. Look, I can even open this up if you want me to. That a girl. That a girl. Y'all, come on. Come on, girls. This way. Come on. Come on. No, not that way. Not that way. There's nothing over there. Ah, uh, that ain't what I wanted. This is going a lot harder than I anticipated. I never would have thought this. I thought these girls would have came on over. All right, so this isn't working, but, but, got another game plan. Let's see, there's more than one way to do things. And let me show y'all what I'm talking about here. All right. We're going to bring them in the back way. Got that closed. We're going to open this gate up here. So now they can come in this way. That takes them in over here. And we're just going to let them out right here. Hey, girls. Let's try it this way. Come on. Ha, 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 ha. We got them. We got them. All right. We got the girls back. How about that, Tilt? How about that, Mildred? They're back. That's your mama, ain't it there, Paris? That's your mama. She's back, ain't she, girl? Yeah. Back in the saddle again. Now it's time to tackle Big Joe. Jesse, you know, I may could use your help about Joe, you know? You could get on one side, I get on the other, and we run him over. Hmm? Like chasing the ball. How about that? Hmm? Just like, oh, better yet. Better yet, how about if I rode you? Yeah. Like a horse. How about that? Hmm? <laughs> you can be my roping horse. You reckon? Hmm? Oh, goodness. Okay, that went smooth. We know the next one's not gonna go that smooth. We just know it. <laughs> but, but, uh, I gotta do some things before I try to move Joe over there. And main thing is, is I got to get Moody and Mo on the backside of their pasture so I can shut that gate off or that fence so I can leave that pasture open for them girls was cutting up over anything. Hey, what's the fuss about? Plus, while I got it open, I wanna put a porta hut over there for those guys. I know there's a big, big uh, shelter over there that they all can get under, but I'm also just gonna put a porta hut over there because honestly, these guys over here by the barn are not using these porta huts at all. So, let's shake a leg and get this thing going. All right, Holly, we got, we got us uh, day four today, yeah. We got phase one already handled, but the next few phases are going to be quite tricky, I must say. Moving these porta huts, uh, well, I should, I should say this. Moving this porta hut over here to over there is going to be a job. And you may say, why is that? Well, I got to get this porta hut out of this pasture over here without any of these lively bunch or any one of these in this lively bunch gets out and gets over here so that's what i gotta do and that will be easier said than done as always <laughs> what i may do is i may see if i can lure i got goldie in that stall now you know what i may shut this stall since goldie's in here and i can shut that gate over there and then nugget will be on that side and so I won't have any worry about anybody over here, or at least one side of it. Let's do that right now. Opportunity has presented itself. All right, Goldie, you're good. You got water, you got feed. You can go in there, and this won't take but a little bit, okay? All right, well, that, that, that worked out perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with Nugget. See, Nugget's on that side. We're gonna shut this fence off before he comes. <laughs> And now, now y'all, how awesome is this? We got this pasture here empty. That's what I'm talking about. 
that could not have worked out any better, my friends. Uh, Cause look, the emus are gone. I don't have to worry about them because I gotta get this porta hut out of this pasture into this pasture. And then from in this pasture, out that gate over there and into the boys pasture. So now I don't have to worry about the emus. Perfect. So far, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say this is going way better than expected because I know what's gonna happen. Zip it up, throw away the key. Not gonna say it. So that really wasn't gonna be phase two, but that just ended up being phase two is getting the emus out of the emu pasture. So now we're gonna proceed to phase three of this master plan. Come on, load up. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Gotta have my right hand man with me. Hey, Lucky, what's going on, girl? We're just moving stuff around today. You take care, girl. All right, let's cut the fence off. No electric avenue today. Now, the boys are over there, but they won't stay over there. I know they're not gonna stay over there, so I'm gonna entice them with some food. I'm gonna treat this just like I'm putting a bell of hay in there. We're gonna cut that pasture off so they can't get out hey cheese hey buddy hey y'all might see a good show today so if you want to get ryan and mac to start popping some popcorn i start doing it now hey big baby what's going on huh what's going on sir what's going on moo man come on partner come on come on with it buddy come on with it partner come on you and Mo don't know this yet, but guess what? We're bringing your boy Big Joe back. Yeah, we are bringing him back. Gonna bring him back. Y'all gonna have a party, huh? A welcome home party for Big Joe, huh? Y'all should. Hey, if y'all do though, hey, listen, if y'all have a big party now, just remember, just remember, the sheriff lives across the street, okay? So, I wouldn't cut the music up too, too loud. Where's Mo? Oh, there he is. All right, y'all come on. Y'all come on. I know I gotta be fast with this. I gotta be super fast. And off I go. You don't have much time. Time is of the essence. It looks like we got it. Except Mo's gonna go get my camera. All right, phase three is in the books. Loretta, Loretta, you know I ain't thought about that. You know what, I ain't thought about that, guys. Loretta's gonna beat Mr. Joe, and Joe's gonna beat Loretta. I'm glad I got that hot water over there. Who knows what would happen? Loretta, behave yourself now. Somebody else is moving in next door, okay? Behave yourself. I mean it, girl. You gonna act right now. I think it's gonna be fine. I really do. Joe may quarter a little bit. You know, who knows with Joe? You know, he loved courting Nugget. And Loretta's way more beautiful than Nugget is, don't you guys think? <laughs> oh, we love you, girl. We love you. All right. That was phase three in the books. Time for phase four, and that is Operation Move the Porter Hood across the street. Come on up here, that a girl. All right, Holly. Hopefully, this works out. Let's go get this thing moved. I do think a mistake that people make is, is that they want to breed and have babies and have milk, but they really don't understand what owning a buck is really like. And it's no fault of theirs. I mean, we, 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 we were rookies at one time have made plenty of mistakes, plenty of mistakes. But 
if you want a buck, especially when you get in these bigger breeds like a like a Nubian or a boar goat or any of these larger breeds besides the pygmies and the Nigerian dwarf goats, you're really gonna have to have its separate pasture. Also keep in mind, if you put it in a separate pasture, it needs a buddy. These are herding animals. They got to have a buddy. Now that doesn't mean it's gotta be a goat. It could be a donkey, it could be a horse, it could be a cow. It's gotta have a buddy. If you want a buck, Keep in mind that you really want to have a separate area for it. Just my opinion. Wouldn't you agree, Peaches? Hmm? Wouldn't you agree, girl? Oh, before I go out there, Peaches, I gotta get I gotta get my one tool I need to get this here uh, porter hood up, and that is my pick. So we get a lot of questions about the porter huts, and we do love these things. They're basically foolproof. I mean, I won't say they're not indestructible, but they can take a lot of abuse. They're fairly light and they're portable. So if you need a quick or portable solution for shelter, porter huts are really a way to go. We're not sponsored by these guys by all means. And if you go to their website, their dealers are there, or you can call them. They can give you a, a, a list of dealer that may be in your area. We had to travel to Tennessee to get ours because we didn't find any in Alabama. All right, Miss Jessie, watch out, baby. Watch out, I gotta get this thing. I gotta flip it up. Come over here with me, come on. Come on this way. All right. Look, here's your ball. You don't care about that ball, do you? Get back. I need to flip this thing on over. Come on, flip. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now let's get the side by side in here and get the dragon. Hey girl, listen, all I'm saying is, if I get this accomplished with zero hiccups, I'm getting a day off, I'm just telling you. I'll, I'm getting a day off. Or a quarter an hour raise, one to two, okay? All right, Holly. Let's go see if we can move a port hut. You ready? Hey Holly, can you get the gate? Can you, you get the gate? Okay, all right, I get you, I understand. We're gonna go ahead and shut the gate in case the goats come over here. All right, y'all, I got in with nobody getting out so far. So good, except I know Tip's gonna wanna ride on a beep beep, so. That's okay though. You ready, Tip? All right, guys. All right, I got her hooked up. Hey, Tip. Hey, buddy. Either you're gonna have to drive this thing out of here or you're gonna have to move. One to two, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, thank you, sir. Mildred, you, I know you can't, you can't even get in here. Don't act like you can drive it. All right, y'all, get back. Here we go. We're moving. So far, everybody's a little nervous of it and it kind of cleared out for me. Except here comes Mildred. Y'all stay back, we almost got it. <laughs> oh, Y'all, we did it, we did it. <laughs> Nobody got out. <laughs> Woo. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go finish this thing up, Holly. 
I'm going to be honest with you, Holly. I did not think it was going to go like that. There is one thing I'm concerned about is this porter hut start rolling down this hill. I didn't think this part through, Holly. If it goes, it goes. Hopefully it stays up. Come on, porter hut. Hang in there. Hang in there. Did I tell you these things was indestructible? All right, Holly, we almost out. We almost out, girl. Come on. Come on, don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. We almost out. All right, let's go and shut the gate and let the emus back out. I don't want to leave Miss Goatee in that stall no longer than I have to. Boy, if the stars ain't lined up right so far, I'm not gonna say it though. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say it. Cause as soon as I say it, Murphy's Law is gonna hit. I know it. I'm coming, Goldie. I hear you, Mildred. We're gonna let Goldie out. Come on, Goldie. Let's go, baby. Come on, baby girl. Come on out. Come on out. There you go. All right. You gotta go let Nugget out. And if she won't tell you, if you want to open up the gate, you can. After this, oh, phase four will be complete. Right here now. We are good to go. Why well, say that? I shouldn't say that. I got to get the porter hut. We got to get the, we got to get the porter hut in the boys pen. Then we'll be ready. All right, all right, all right. Don't hit the gate. Don't hit the fence. We're good. Don't hit the gate. Don't hit the fence. Come on, almost there. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Some of y'all may be asking, Jason, why are you putting it so far back? How come you don't have it near the front or up in the middle like you had originally? We learned something from that, and I did it with Gus and Loretta's too. And that is, is when we had them in the middle, anytime we came in here with the tractor or the side-by-side -side or whatever we needed to do in here, they kind of got in the way. So putting them back here in the back, they won't be in the way. Coming in and out, this is way, way better. All right, guys, let's get this thing locked down. All right, fellas, listen, I got to get this thing locked down and then I'll open up the gate, okay? But I know what's going to happen if I don't. Number one, we have wind, right? Number two is this fella right here may think it's a volleyball and, you know, treat it like he does his hay ring back here which is not nice at all. So we definitely gotta lock this thing down or Moo Man will take it for a flight. Look at him back there looking all innocent like I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I know you better than that, buddy. <laughs> I wanna be your sledgehammer. Hey girl, do you see how easy that porter hook went? Hmm? Do you see that? Huh? You see that? Hmm. <laughs> now let's go get Big Joe over here. Okay guys, so we're down to phase five. I think that's right, I think we're on five. But anyways, we got to move Joe. That's the next phase. And there's one thing that I got to do first before I even attempt to move Joe. And that's this right here. I got my buck in rut hazmat suit on. The perfect, the perfect attire for moving a book. Gotta keep that stank off. All right, Big Joe, we ready. We got your rope. We got your rope and we ready to roll. Like a lead rope. We gonna lead him. We gonna lead him. Goldie, we gonna lead Joe over there. You believe that? All right, so we got Joe ready. We got him ready. And it's time, it's time to go. It's time to go, Joe. You ready? Let's do this. Yo, I'm gonna say Joe is doing quite well. I mean, yeah, it's like he's been on a lead rope before. Joe, you been training up on this? Come on, boy. Atta boy. Atta boy, Joe. Atta boy, Joe. Atta boy. Atta boy, come on. Come on, Big Joe. Come on, Big Joe. Joe, you might be a show goat. Look how you walking. Man, Peaches is gonna be proud of me and you. Look, we're almost here. We're almost here, come on. Come on in. Come on in, boy. All right, whoa, 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 sir. 
Hold up there, Tennessee Walker. We gotta get your rope off your neck. Now. Joe's back. What you think, guys? Big Joe's back. Look at Mo. That's like his mirror, ain't it? <laughs> My buddy's back. The Joe man is back. Ugh, man, that thing's in the ground. Oh, Moe's happy, ain't he? Look at there. What do you think, Moody? The boys are back in town, ain't they? Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, Moe's happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and y'all can see why these two guys are going to be showing off pasture mates right there now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mo, you missed your buddy, ain't you, huh? You missed your buddy. You see them fellas, huh? You see them over there playing? You can go play if you want to. Or you, you done outgrown that, hmm? You a mature steer now, huh? Is that what it is? You a mature steer now? You don't do those shenanigans anymore? Huh? You're like a teenager now, ain't you? I see. I see. Well, I guess it's safe to say that uh, Mo and Joe are happy to be back together again because <laughs> they are playing over there, ain't they, buddy? Yeah. Y'all see all of them playing? Moody, Joe, Mo. <laughs> Moody, Moody ain't got too old. He was just putting... He's putting on the front for me. I think that's what he was doing. <laughs> oh my gracious. Let's go look and see how everyone's adjusted to being back where they were. Y'all look at here. <laughs> Capri's asleep on the picnic table. Fifi's over here chewing her cud with the girls. Hey girls. Hey Fifi. Hey, baby girl. I think this was a move that you girls wanted. I do. Y'all sunning, aren't you? I don't blame you. Even Mildred and Jesse over there sunning. Only one I don't see is Top. Where's Big Top? Where's old Big Topper? He's Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's laying over there behind Mildred. I was just wondering where you were, buddy. I didn't know where you were. I didn't see you. Oh, Bluebeard. I didn't see you. Hey, I'm glad you got a blue beard and not a yellow beard, I tell you that. Unlike y'all's buddy Joe. If you haven't got word, it went as smooth as it could possibly go. Smooth as silk, no hiccups. I mean, getting everybody moved over, getting the porter hut smooth, and then relocating Big Joe, no hiccups. Bam, 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 bam. So, I'll let you decide, quarter an hour raise or that day off. Whatever, what, I'm cool with either one, okay? You think about it. All right, you have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.